We're in Clovis, California, getting ready to set a toilet here uh, in the hall bath. <clears throat> First thing we noticed when we uh, took the uh, old toilet off was the left side um, of the closet flange was uh, was damaged. And so uh, we let them know we need to replace that. You can see what we've got now is a, <clears throat> it's an adjustable flange. It's glued in. Number one, it's got like a three inch deep flange uh, solvent welded in place. And then also it's got a a metal adjustable ring which is screwed to the floor. So you're back in good shape. I just want to document that to show you the work that we did and then we'll take another video when we're done. So still here in Clovis, California we just finished installing a Kohler Cimarron toilet. This is provided by the homeowner. Uh, also we gave you a new uh, supply line right there. Those are fluid masters. Uh, we always do that when we put a new toilet in just give you a new supply line. If the valve was in bad shape we'd replace that as well. It's a quarter turn. It shuts off so no big deal. Uh, so again, the first part of the video, you saw that there was a, an extension flange or, flange or repair flange that was installed. And uh, because the left bracket um, slot that holds the bolt in place um, was damaged. So that was installed. And then, of course, that uh, this floor is now a thin floor. I'm sure it was tiled before. And so the flange was flush with that. But now that they put in a vinyl floor, it uh, pushes everything up high. So what we had to do was go around the perimeter use some uh, shim toilet shims hard plastic and uh, kind of prop it up around the perimeter and then of course we shimmed it nice next to the bolts on each side uh, here and there uh, you know because that's where a lot of the pressure is at front of course uh, popped up pretty high but um, we flush it a lot of times it's it's a uh, it, there's no leaking around the perimeter we got it cocked in almost to the back we like to leave the back open right there in the event that you do have any leakage down there, you will see it right away, as opposed to cocking it all in and it just sits down there and um, and causes a, a mess down there on your floor. Uh, so the toilet is filling correctly, shutting off correctly, flushing correctly. Outside of that, this installation is done. So we're in Clovis, California. We just finished installing a, a, a Weiwei faucet. I want to say Weiwei. Um, we get these off Amazon. They've got over 30,000 five-star reviews, fantastic faucets, and uh, so we recommend it to the home where they purchased it online and we installed it for them. We've probably installed about, I don't know, 20, 30 of these for homeowners. Everybody loves them. We had one installed at our house. That's when we our first experience with this faucet. Fantastic flow and about the third the cost of uh, the big manufacturers like Mo and Delta Fister. Uh, underneath, uh, all we were supposed to do down here is just go ahead and um, tie everything back in. They gave us some new flanges to put in, one for the uh, basket strainer and, of course, one for the uh, garbage disposal. They're nice brushed nickel. Uh, we, when we dropped the disposal and we get ready to put it back in, it was split. We sent a picture to the homeowner so they know about it. Right at the very top, it was split and rusted out. Probably wouldn't have caused too much damage right away, but eventually that water is going to make its way down to the cabinet. Then you're going to have a problem down here. Um, so we told them we'd replace it for them, and we did. So brand new disposal, one third horsepower. Um, <clears throat> so that's good. Back here, these uh, this uh, telescoping kit that goes from the disposal over to the P trap uh, was damaged. They used metal nuts, and they got it cross threaded on some of the adapters. So we just pulled all that out. We we used the original P trap because that's in good shape. But this whole kit here, the T and that extension piece, and the plastic nuts, that's all brand new. Uh, so no big deal. Just want to make sure it's not leaking down there. And then a the little tiny piece in between right there. That's ours. And then, of course, a new um, brass nut and then a brand new gasket up in here. And so we've run lots of water down here as well. No leaking. And um, we did also uh, replace the cold shutoff valve. So that guy over there, that's a brass craft quarter turn shutoff valve. The other one was a multi-turn. It wouldn't shut off all the way, so the water was still leaking. And we told the homeowner, and they said, yep, go ahead and replace it. So brand new uh, shutoff valve there. And then, of course, disposal, um, telescoping kit, and then uh, faucet. Uh, everything here looks good. Outside of that, this installation is done.